can't button map, but the jump and the fire are exactly where I'd like them to be. Well, not only that, I can use the D-pad to move if I want. That's a plus. Unlike Bounty Huntress, when he had to use the analog, which is a horrible, horrible thing. No options. All right, that's fine. Continue. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to a... Or, yeah, let's do this. Continue and start with the first. to unplug the controller or the uh, microphone from the controller than it is to uh, mute the control or the mute the mic. So how's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of Retro Style Games. Danny here. Sorry for the late uh, start on that. This is a really interesting game. Um, it's almost Mega Man like. Although it does its own thing. Oh, whoa. It's a fully powered me. Um, these crystals, um, if you look up, you'll see 87% below the uh, health meter. You actually have limited resources, so you can't just run around holding the shoot button. As, uh, Counterintuitive as that may sound. Wow. So with this game, it's um, it's interesting. It's kind of Mega Man like, but you see up in the upper upper right hand. Um, you have people you have to rescue. And there's one of them up there. Hmm. I forget how you're supposed to get up there. I think you're supposed to jump on one of the crates and then... But that's fine, I can just do this at any time. Well, not at any time, as long as I have uh, energy. So, um, with my pointing out that you have to rescue hostages in the- or rescue people anyway... Do I drop down? No. Okay, this doesn't have- uh, this has some interesting mechanics. Gameplay mechanics. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a little Mega Man, but it's also a little Shinobi because of this. See that up top? It just checked off uh, one of the people's faces. And you need these. Oh yeah, you can't jump through. You need these for your ammunition because if you sit there and hold the fire button, you will burn through your resources. And those same energy resources can be used for. Um, for your abilities, like like the ability to fly like this, that uses up those resources too. All right. Yeah, the, it's it's kind of a weird mix of um, the very first arcade Shinobi, not to be confused with some of the other Shinobi games, but. Uh, yeah, a little mix of that, and a little mix of Mega Man. Music's kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of the uh, first level of Doom. With that, how that riffage is working. Yay! It's 
not a bad game, but at the same time, too, it's it's nothing that nothing special, I should say. It's pretty entertaining, though. I don't remember how much I paid for this. If this was one of those uh, cheaper titles, and that's why I bought it. I think I bought it because it had Mega Man-like qualities. But there isn't too much you can uh, too much about this game that's comparable to Mega Man, to be honest. So uh, the only the only thing similar to Mega Man is that you run and shoot. So it's it's a run and gun. Can't go down. I don't need the help. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying not to cough in the microphone. But sometimes when I raise my voice, it can be uh, a little too loud for the microphone. Distort the microphone. Ah, I hate that. About old school games like that. Touch the bad guy in your head. Here, take it. I think that's how they expect you to get up. But since my gun is overpowered, actually, I can just do this too. That's an ability I got much later in the game. Fights are interesting too. Yeah, the, I don't know what you would really say this is like. I would just probably consider it a run and gun, really. It's a run and gun that does kind of its own thing. I mean, if anything, it's closer to a uh, metal slug, I guess. Because you, you, you do rescue POWs in that. But you are also able to aim up, you're not able to aim at all when you do this game. You either shoot to the left, or you shoot to the right. Oops. Bumble. Bumblebee. Or it's not a bumblebee. Replenished my health there. I was. Oh, I didn't see any kind of health. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> yeah, graphically, this is kind of like uh, PC Engine quality. Like vibrant colors. Yeah, basic gameplay. Nothing too technical. It's a little bit more technical, I guess, than what the NES would provide, but, uh... More technical. Or not as technical as what the Genesis or Super Nintendo would do, though. <clears throat> Because if you look, yeah, there's a lot of vibrant colors, but you don't see a lot of shading or blending so much. That's the main bad guy. This is... This guy is where you get that, uh, how did this gun from, actually. Wow. Got smoked. <clears throat> I really 
don't like the flying ability because you have no choice but to have it on, you can't just shut it off. Yeah, this is the box that gives you that. <clears throat> so that's just a quick look at this game. Um, I've already beaten the first five bosses. Can't really say it's Mega Man like too much because it's not really. You, know, you, you kind of feel their powers, but you kind of don't, if that makes sense. So yeah, I would just call it a run and gun action platformer. Does this hurt me? Oh. Okay, the lava does not hurt you. I'm afraid to turn it around. Okay. Into that thing. Ah, right. oh. All right. Ah, oh, boy. Golly. Gems heal you now? They used to not. Used to just be reserved only for your uh, abilities. Yeah, see, that's stupid right there. I'm not gonna lie, that's bad design. Level design, anyway. Bad. Whoa! I did not know that those could seek you out until just now. Right. Get some of my life back there. Alright. How do I rescue this thing? Do I just shoot the cage? Yeah, yeah, that answers that question. Why you can't climb down the ladders though? That that's that's bad game design there. Like I should be able to descend instead of having to rely on. Yeah, cause I. What if I want what's down there? What if there is somebody needing rescue? Well, I won't know that because I can't go down the ladder. So again, bad, bad game design right there. That is bad game design. Why would you put ladders in a game that you cannot climb up or down on? You just use them to platform. You might as well just put a uh, block up there then, guys. I don't know, what would I consider this? It's kind of like a, a bug inspired um, running gun, I guess. <laughs> Instead of metal slug, metal bug. 
but again, this doesn't really share a lot of qualities that the Metal Slug games have, so, except for the fact that you run and shoot stuff. This has more platforming though, much like a Mega Man game would. Real low on uh, energy here, 53%. That's not good. Part of that's for the flight like this. Which, again, I don't like that you have to have that. You can't just turn that off. Because you, you, you used to have like a double jump and that didn't burn through your um, energy resources. But you have no choice with... Uh, once you get that flying ability, the bug come on. Uh, whoa. There we go. Alright. This way. Kill the, the bug guy over here. <clears throat> I really hate those that particular guy right there. I, I hate all those lizard guy or whatever these things are supposed to be. But the ones that shoot the missiles are the worst. All right, try to figure this level out again. Crappy game design here. Or crappy level design, I should say. The game is designed okay, but it does have its, um... It, it has a lot of down, downsides. Like, like I said, the ladder thing is really bothersome to me. I really don't like the having this like as a default thing it's like I'm almost out of energy now uh, double jump was so nice to just be able to do that instead of being stuck with uh, that like if I want a double jump forget it it's not gonna happen what hit me Yeah, I'd like to be able to switch weapons out too, because this gun isn't exactly a good gun. I mean, come on, if, I, if I'm having to shoot the guy like that, come on. What else do I think about this? Uh, music kind of sucks. Not kind of, it, it's mm -hmm. dull. Like this is very boring music. Um, if you decide to make a sequel, guys, uh, maybe reach out to the company that did, or the developers that did Biolab Wars and see who they went with to do their music. You wanna hear good retro style game music? Biolab Wars has it has some of the best I've heard, especially for a game that I paid under $2 for. Yeah, forget about it. It's just too good. Yeah, it's like a, a percent of, of the energy every double jump I do. Using those wings, which is 
Again, just... This is freaking irritating, guys. Like, for real. I remember why I stopped at this level. Because it, I, I stopped having fun. Because of bull crap like that. Bull crap enemies like that guy. Having to... Having to manage my resources too, that's stupid in a run and gun. At least let me have a default weapon, you know? Nope, nothing. Well, looks like I lost whoever else was watching. Well, thanks for stopping by. I think I'm gonna call it here pretty soon. Mostly because this isn't really a fun game. It's an okay game, but the, I, I would consider like anybody beating this, like <laughs> uh, not anyone beating this, but I would consider in order for you to want to beat this, this would have to be a Stockholm Syndrome game for you. And I have plenty of other good games that aren't aggravating like this one, that don't have BS enemies in it too. This has a lot of... This has a lot of... It, it, this has a lot of bad game design involved in it, so... Uh, but graphically, yeah, I love the graphics. The, the music sucks though. I mean... This isn't very good. come down from there or no? If I don't need to waste ammo on you, I'm not going to. This three-way gun just... I could just have a gun that shoots forward. What in the devil? One time he shoots in a different direction and I jump into it. Instead of that direction forward. Butterflies making like a hawk noise. Did you die already? Golly! Too many hit points for that guy. For real. I mean, it's not like I can infinitely fire. And then every one of these double jumps is costing me. <clears throat> Welcome, buddy. Man, forget you, dude. And screw this game. This game... This game sucks, dude. For real. I'm gonna be real with you. This is a four. This is a friggin' four. There's a lot of bad game design in this. From a from a designer's standpoint, yeah, it's good. It's beautiful, but actual gameplay in this sucks. Uh, again, you know, this is bullcrap. 
Like, why'd you take the double jump out and then put this in? Yeah, that's cool and all, but maybe assign the triangle button for that? I mean, you have all these buttons on the PlayStation controller. Utilize... Utilize them. I mean, yeah, you want to try to stay retro. Well, that's cool and all, but unless you are planning on releasing this for, like, say, the Genesis or Mega Drive, wh whatever region you're from, or you want this on the NES, like, I mean, at least with the Genesis Mega Drive, they, they had three buttons, so make make that one of the buttons. You have all these all these buttons. Plenty of real estate for that. If you're trying to go true retro, then make it make it both the buttons or something. I don't know, but don't take the double jump out and replace it with this, because this eats up resources. It's one percent per double jump. See, I'm not even holding that down, and that's one percent. That is a lot when you consider the fact that I can fire the gun. Looks like s six to seven shots before it takes up a percent. So I mean, if, if I gotta be mindful of my ammunition, as well as where I jump, you need to figure this out, cause uh, you took the double jump away and that's really, that really screws stuff up. Yeah, in this gun, let me change my gun out, you know, like, don't, should I, should I have to put up with this gun? I mean, this gun sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's cool that it shoots in three ways, but I'd rather have a, have the option of having a gun that shoots actually straight forward. I guess it, I guess this does sh fire straight. It's just that times it looks like it shoots from a slight angle upwards. <clears throat> but anyway, this gun ah, this gun isn't that great. Let me let me let me have more options for weapons. Just being, being stuck with this kind of sucks. It doesn't kind of suck, it, it does suck, and I, I'm gonna just call it for, for what it is. That's just lazy programming, really. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it. Um, geez, what would I give this? Um, I don't know, I... This lacks a fun factor. The only thing this has going for it are the graphics are beautiful. But that's about it. And uh, it kind of takes me back to the PC Engine slash Turbo Graphics days. But other than that, um, I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the resource system. I really don't like this. The 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 float, the wings. Like, I, I should be able to change that. Y use that for when I want to use that. Instead, uh, cause, cause there was a double jump. So they took that away once you get the, once you defeat the boss that gives you these wings. And I, I would rather have the double jump predominantly and then push a s separate button to use that ability. <coughs> So, um, yeah, excuse me about that. I didn't mean to clear my throat into the microphone. But anyway, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to give this a four. This isn't a good game at all. Uh, it's, it's not fun. The only thing it has going for it are the graphics. The music is dull and bland. I, this music, it, it's not good. Uh, game design, uh... I don't know, it, it's okay game design, um, it doesn't, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table, so 
if you're gonna make a game that doesn't bring something new to the table, you need to add something that makes it fun. Take Biolab Wars, for example. It's not a great game by any means, but boy, is it a fun game. And I can see myself playing that for hours. This is like a 20 minutes and then I'm, I'm, bored, of, I'm bored with it. So yeah, this is a boring game. Beautiful, but boring. And that's what I'm gonna put in the title too. Beautiful, but boring. Well anyway folks, if you liked the video, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked about it. If you agree with my assessment of this being a 4 out of 10, or if you disagree, leave a comment down below. If you like this game or if you've played it before, tell me what you thought of it. I however did not enjoy this game and I would recommend folks to pass on this because overall this isn't a good game. Not at all. Not fun at all. So, with that said, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where in the world you are. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Danny, out.